So in the election world, people are going to wait a little bit to get the full results. In the weather world, we're going to have to wait one more day to get the sun or the warm weather anyway. Yes, one more day. See? But then we get like eight or nine days oh, I know. of I'm milder so temperatures. Excited. Like, awesome. So um, let's get into it. First of all, we did have some snow that fell yesterday, and uh, Bangor was really close to two inches. So a little bit ahead of the pace as we roll into November. Caribou a little behind the pace, and so far, nothing reported in Portland, although there have been occasionally some snow showers every couple of days, something like that. There may be some flurries that fall early this morning. Milder air is cruising in way above our heads. We won't feel it today. It's going to take time to sink down to the surface, but we'll get into it tomorrow. So you can see the radar is picking up a few returns, but a lot of that's moving offshore. The bigger story is the cold this morning. It's eight in Holton, just a few degrees above the record low right now and still time to drop. Caribou and Callis in the teens, Bangor 25 with Bar Harbor. Mid to upper 20s, Waterville, Augusta, Lewiston, Wiscasset, Portland's 30, Sanford's 28, Freiburg's 29. So we do still have some pretty deep cold over us, but this continues to retreat. And this warm front will be swinging through late in the day. And there's nothing but warmth across most of the continental U.S. So once we get into it, it's going to be tough to get out of it. And I think that's good for the next several days. It's a cloudy start. A cold and a quiet start. A few flurries are possible, but they won't cause any problems, unlike yesterday morning when we had the snow falling throughout most of eastern Maine. Clouds still dominating midday, and there'll probably be some mountain flakes. No accumulation, though. Calm, but still feeling cold without much sunshine. And then during the afternoon, I do expect clouds to begin to thin out, and we'll start to see some filtered sunshine, but it never goes mostly sunny. Temps begin to creep up, especially near the coast, but inland, they're going to have a tougher time bringing in that milder marine air, so it's still going to feel cold across the interior. You're looking at highs today in Bangor of 40. You know, that's easily 10 degrees below average. The mild spot will be down in Portsmouth and in Kittery, upper 40, still below the average, and we'll even have some 30s for high temperatures in northern Maine, Millinocket, Caribou, over to Greenville in the mid-30s. Tomorrow, it's a huge pattern change. It turns much warmer by the afternoon. We're 60 degrees or even slightly higher. It's dry too. This front will stay north of us as we head into the weekend. Friday, also very warm. Saturday, it'll probably sink a little farther south and kind of get backdoored a little bit, but the air behind it isn't even that cold. So while Sunday will be a little cooler than these next few days, we're still looking at way, way, way above average for temperatures. And this is kind of our opportunity to redo what we missed out in October. You can see today cold 45 and then 60 degrees or higher Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday as well. Well into next week, deep into it. Small crafts are up for a few hours today. Let's see here, actually issued 3 a.m., which is tomorrow. So small crafts go into effect tomorrow through Friday morning. Seas two to three feet, and uh, southeast winds become southerly and a little gusty later on. Mostly cloudy skies with one more cold day. Temperatures 40 to 45. Sunny warmer tomorrow, highs around 60. Partly sunny on Friday, near 60. Mid 60s, though, to start the weekend. And then, as I mentioned, a little cooler and a little cloudier on Sunday. And then temperatures spike again early next week, back into the mid-60s Monday and Tuesday. And, Lee, you know, I can't rule out one or two communities hitting 70 degrees during this stretch. Uh, we'll try to pinpoint where they might be. Regardless, it's going to feel so much better around here. And, and make no mistake, we don't want you to rule that out. So <laughs> feel free to throw in some more I, communities, I just actually, may. if you'd like. I so, just all may. right, sir, thank you.